Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Inevitably this was going to happen, but few would have predicted that it was going to happen so quickly. We are in the first early stages of a Nintendo Switch emulator. It goes by the name of Yuzu, and the first announcement was thrown out just a few short days ago on January the 14th with a tweet which simply said, Announcing Yuzu, the first Nintendo Switch emulator that does all of the things you didn't need it to do. Stay tuned for more from the Yuzu team. Let's jump straight into the nitty gritty of what it can and can't do based on information from the official website. It simply says, Yuzu is an experimental open source emulator for the Nintendo Switch from the creators of Citra. It is written in C++ with portability in mind, with builds actively maintained for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. The emulator is currently only useful for homebrew development and research purposes. This is followed by the source code that you can get your hands on right now. The project was started in spring of 2017 by Bunny, one of the original authors of the popular Citra 3DS emulator, to experiment with and research the Nintendo Switch. Due to the similarities between Switch and 3DS, Yuzu was developed as a fork of Citra. This means that it uses the same project architecture and both emulators benefit from shared improvements. During the early months of development, work was done in private and progress was slow. However, as Switch reverse engineering and homebrew development became popular, work on Yuzu began to take off as well. In January of 2018, the Yuzu team was formed out of several Citra developers and the decision was made to release the project publicly. As an emulator, Yuzu is in its infancy and is only currently useful for Switch reverse engineering and homebrew development. Now, the question of what it currently can and can't do. Can I play Switch games? No, at this time Yuzu does not run any commercial Switch games. Yuzu can boot some games to varying degrees of success, but does not implement any of the necessary GPU features to render 3D graphics. When will Yuzu run games? In short, we do not know how soon games might run. While Yuzu is making great progress, Switch emulation is very complex. Running games is one of the team's top priorities, so we are actively working toward that goal. If you do a Google search for Yuzu, you'll most likely find fruit long before an emulator, and this is a nice segue to the source of the emulator's name. Where does the name come from? Citrus Junos, or Yuzu from a Japanese script, is a citrus fruit most commonly used in Asian cuisines. This name was chosen as an homage to Citra and its developers whose work gave the foundation for this project. On the official Yuzu website they have a thanks section and it says furthermore we'd like to thank the ReSwitch team. This project would not exist without their excellent work and willingness to share their knowledge. Now who are ReSwitch in short? Our goal is to fully document the inner workings of the Nintendo Switch as well as hacking the console to allow homebrew software. We do not in any form support piracy. Our hacks allow for running and developing homebrew software applications and will not enable you to circumvent protections to permit piracy or the playing of illegitimately obtained software. To go off on a slight tangent for a moment, this takes me back to January 2nd where we had a post from Team Executor who of course are infamous or famous for their custom firmware. So the post reads, Team Executor coming to your Nintendo Switch console. The post reads, this solution will work on any Nintendo Switch console regardless of the currently installed firmware and will be completely future proof. This is THE solution for opening up custom firmware on the Nintendo Switch. We want to move the community forward and provide a persistent, stable and fast method of running your own code and custom firmware patches on Nintendo's latest flagship product and we think we've succeeded. They follow that with a short video. The Switch of course came out in March and it uses the Nvidia Tegra X1 chip and at this point in time the architecture of the X1 is quite well understood which undoubtedly is going to help with pulling this whole process all together from all of these different pieces from ReSwitched to Yuzu to Team Executor. The originator of the Yuzu project Bunny posted on January the 15th, well that was fast we now have early input support. Now you can play space game for Switch at near the speed of smell. Thank you at Shiny Quagsire. 
So ultimately, what does this mean for you, the end user? Well, like any project in early development, especially emulators, it's going to require quite a lot of patience because these projects can take anything from months to years to get into a position where it's suitable for anyone to get their hands on it. At this point in time, I would only advise the extreme enthusiast to dive in and start playing around with this thing. Now, if you want to keep up to date with all things Yuzu related, they have a Discord, Twitter, GitHub and Wiki page. I will provide all of the links that you need down below. But of course, one of the best places to keep up to date will be right here on the Complaining Gamer channel. I'm going to be providing updates as and when they happen. Additionally, I'm also going to number the thumbnails so that you know you never miss a progress report. That's all for now. If you dislike the video, thumbs down. If you didn't, thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all things Yuzu and Switch emulator related.